What's up, Spice Droppers? It's Charlie from Ferndale. Today we're gonna make some hummus and some tomb. And if you don't know what tomb is, tomb is that amazingly delicious garlic sauce that comes with everything in, uh, with shawarma, any Lebanese food, uh, Middle Eastern food. It, that garlic sauce is like, you just dip everything in it. I know everybody knows what I'm talking about. It's the fluffy white stuff. They're both super simple to make. Uh, the hummus does take a little more prep for it, but the tomb, that garlic sauce, it's four ingredients and it's super quick to make, but you're basically making mayonnaise with garlic instead of eggs. So you're emulsifying everything so it is a little tricky because you don't want it to break and separate. So let's get cooking. All right, for this tomb, we have three cups of vegetable oil. I would definitely not use olive oil on this because it has a different flavor than the actual vegetable oil. So we need three cups of vegetable oil. I have one tablespoon of salt. I have three tablespoons of lemon juice, fresh squeezed. Roughly about the uh, juice from one lemon, a little bit less than one lemon. And I have 30 garlic cloves. They're peeled and ready to go. I actually left one here so that we could show you exactly what needs to happen with this. So anyway, you take the clove, smash it. You're going to get that skin off, the garlic skins. Now we're going to take this little uh, nub here, cut that off, and what you also want to do is open it up and you're going to see this little stalk in here. That's like where the green thing grows out when it gets too old. We're going to take that and we're just going to get rid of that. We don't want that either because that gives some off flavors as well. And I will say when you're making tomb, aka garlic sauce, you definitely want to use the freshest garlic you can because obviously it is very garlic forward. All right, now that we got our 30 cloves, again, that's about two and a half to three actual bulbs of garlic. We're gonna dump that in the food processor. Then we're gonna throw in the salt too, one tablespoon of salt, kosher salt or sea salt, something that has some grain to it. You don't want to use just regular table salt. And we're gonna let this turn into a uh, very, very, very finely minced garlic. Push that down as needed. Like I can see in there, some of the salt's not even incorporated, so I wanna kinda coat the garlic in that salt to get it moving. We need that salt to do its magic for this emulsification to work. Alright, now this is where it can break, and you don't want that to happen. So what we're looking at here, we have, it's almost paste-like in there. Again, we have three cups of vegetable oil. We're definitely not using olive oil. And it's going to take about 15 minutes for us to do this. You can't really go too slow on this. You can definitely go too fast. If you go too fast, it's just going to turn into water, really. So, we're going to add like a tablespoon or two of the oil while this is running at first to get everything coated and start the emulsification process. We're gonna push the sides down. So just keep that on low and just add little by little, add a little bit more of that oil. All right, I'm gonna push it down one more time and you can see we have this fluffiness starting to happen. That's what we want. We don't want it to turn liquidy. We want fluffiness. Now, I'm just going to, again, this takes a while. We're going to put a little bit of lemon juice and a little bit of oil in there. One after the other. Until all this oil is gone. So let's turn that on and I'll uh, talk to you guys when this is done. So 
See, now we're at a point, look how fluffy that is. We are definitely doing it correctly. So I'll just keep it going until you're done with everything. And look what we have there, Spice Droppers. Would you look at that? Look at that wobbly little deliciousness. I can't wait to plate that up with some of this hummus we're about to make. Hummus, just as easy as the tomb. We're gonna make it a little extra delicious. It's gonna take a little bit longer. Uh, you could, what we're gonna do is basically make some roasted garlic uh, and some roasted garlic olive oil. But you could also skip this process and make it just as quickly as the two. Uh, what we do need, obviously, some garbanzo beans, aka chickpeas. I'm using canned, obviously. Uh, this is about a pound. If you were to use the dehydrated garbanzo beans or chickpeas, aka whatever, uh, you would use roughly a pound of that. Uh, then we also have some tahini, which tahini is just ground hulled sesame seeds. 100% ground hulled sesame seeds. Says right there, tahini. Um, again, we're gonna use some garlic. We got about 10 cloves here. Some extra virgin olive oil. And some lemon juice. And then we're gonna top it with some cayenne pepper. I'm also gonna make a side thing. You don't have to do this either. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make some uh, roasted red pepper, like, just basically roasted red peppers mixed with olive oil and some spices to put on there to, uh, I don't know, make it look nicer. I like how they taste together. So let's get started on the hummus. All right, so first things first with the hummus, I got my 10 garlic cloves here, throwing them in a saucepan, also known as a saucepan. I got those there. We're going to coat these in olive oil, extra virgin, about probably about a cup's worth of olive oil. So yeah, that's what we're looking at there. We got a good amount of olive oil in there over those. And we're just gonna turn that on a simmer for roughly 30 minutes. Now the good thing about this too is we're gonna use both the garlic and the oil from here. While that garlic is roasting up, let's make this. We're just gonna take a few Roasted red peppers, you could make these yourself, but I didn't feel like it because I'm doing a bunch of other stuff. So I bought some on, uh, in a jar. I'm just gonna pull out about a pepper's worth maybe. These jars probably have about two peppers worth in them. Yeah, that should be good. So we're just gonna take this and chop, dice this very fine. And we just, we want a real nice mince on this. And that's, that's what we're looking for right there. Nice little mince there. I'm gonna add some pre-minced garlic because I've been dealing with garlic all day. This is about a tablespoon's worth. I've been dealing with garlic all day. I'm sick of cutting more, so give that a little mix. Put that in this bowl here. I don't know why we're mixing it on the table when we can just mix it in the bowl. Gonna add some pepper, some salt, and some uh, crushed red pepper to taste. You do you. I like it kind of hot. Just mix that up. Set that aside for later. We're about 15 minutes in on this garlic. You can see it's simmering nicely. It's starting to brown up, break apart a little bit. This entire house smells good. This will probably smell really good for a few days now. But, uh... Yeah, we just want to keep that going for about 15 more minutes and we should be ready to go. All right, so it's been about 30 minutes on this. You can see how those are opening up and ready to go, nice and brown. Again, the house smells amazing. We'll show you what to do. We're gonna turn these off heat and get to it. So I got this can from the chickpeas, garbanzo beans. I'm gonna put that there. I'm going to filter out the garlic and we want to save that roasted garlic olive oil in there too. Look at that garlic. Ooh, that looks delicious. Let that sit there. That's going to be hot as heck. So make sure to be careful when you're touching that. I'm taking my roughly one pound of chickpeas. 
and I'm going to pulse these down to a little bit more of a paste. So now we have a uh, thicker, chunked up, chunked up chickpea uh, lather here. I don't know, is that a word? La a lather of chickpeas. And to that, we're gonna add a half a cup of tahini. Got my half cup here. Again, this is just 100% ground hulled sesame seeds. And it turns into almost, it's almost like a very thin peanut buttery uh, texture there. I got the juice of one lemon. And I have a quarter cup roasted garlic, which is what we just made. We're gonna put some salt in there. I'm using kosher salt. We want plenty of salt. Salt not only adds flavor, but it helps grind everything and mix everything together. Let's say about a tablespoon of salt. We got our roasted garlic olive oil here that we're going to slowly add a third cup of this while this is moving around at, on low. Turn it off for a second, check the consistency. I mean, that's pretty perfect. I'm gonna add a little more oil to that, but we're basically ready to go. Even better, much better. This is perfect. Now, if you do have leftover roasted garlic olive oil like I do, cook a steak with it. You know, cook, cook some meat with that and it's gonna be amazing. But let's plate up, let's get started. Let's see what we're dealing with, spice droppers. All right, so plating this up, we're gonna do this. I got a plate here. You could also obviously just put this in bowls, but we're gonna put a nice little mountain of the hummus in the middle, and we wanna make like a slide, like a twisty slide, just like that. Put some of these roasted red peppers right in the middle there. We got some tum over here. Look how fluffy that is. Just kinda squeeze that around one side of the plate. We're gonna drizzle a little bit of olive oil on this to go down that slide. The reason we made the slide. And we'll put a little cayenne on top of that too. Again, you could use vegetables. You could put some meat with this too. Uh, really anything you want on this plate chips, crackers, I'm gonna use some pita. If you missed one of the early videos about the Greek feast, uh, we definitely go through how to make pita from scratch there. So feel free to uh, click the link below and watch that video. But I'm just gonna, I'm taking some pita and I'm just gonna tear it up. I just plate it around here. And look at that spice droppers, we did it again. Let's try this. Spice droppers has been real. I know this is gonna be good. The hummus, I mean, it's so easy to make, and it's so much better from home. Some of that garlic sauce, mmm, that too. Mmm. Mmm. Dude, I don't care what anybody says. That's the best stuff in 